best by browser. 2024. You, you're just a browser. You don't look like browsers. So, you know, it all depends on what web browser you're using. And if the best, the best, the, the uh, browser. Well, I'm going to tell your mom about your browser history. Over 3.2 billion internet users choose Chrome as their primary browser. And if you're one of those over 3 billion people, you've probably picked it out of convenience. But these days, you don't need to rely on Google alone. Other browser companies have done it just as good, if not better, than Chrome. My name is Josh and this is the Cyber Lab. Today you'll learn more about the best web browsers of this year. But much like trying and failing to feed a cat dog food, I recognize that not everyone is looking for the same browser experience. So you'll see what category these browsers fit into, whether they be for security, niche focused, or something else. So if you want to find the best browser for you, stick with us till the end to find out the best overall for your use. And if you want to keep your files as secure as your browsing, you should consider pCloud as a replacement for Google Drive. Like some of these browsers could be a replacement for Google Chrome, with zero knowledge encryption and the ability to move your data to a more secure overseas location with better security laws. pCloud offers the most secure cloud storage service on the internet. And you can get up to 80% off pCloud in our description. So let's get started with a unique first entry. Opera, specifically Opera GX. Opera GX is a unique browser because it focuses on gaming. You know the thing with your Mario Karts and your Ghost Recons? That thing! Now, you might wonder why a browser would focus on gaming. Well, not everyone can afford a gaming system that could bring down a city block's electricity. So, naturally, cloud and browser-based gaming is a popular alternative. So, if you're a gamer that wants a browser to match, Opera GX might be for you. Opera's most interesting feature is controlling how much RAM your PC uses. RAM affects how fast your PC performs, especially when running multiple programs simultaneously. This is unique to Opera GX. Opera GX also has other gaming features, such as letting you track your Twitch followers from your sidebar, access to some of your RGB systems to control lighting on a handful of devices, and adding background music to your browser themes. Which is weird. Opera GX is very much about ambience, calling their themes mods. But if you prefer a more standard browser, check out regular Opera. Everything that comes with basic Opera is available on GX, which includes a built-in VPN cryptocurrency wallet features, and support for the Chrome Web Store. Despite having a bulky list of features, Opera is quick because it's built on Chromium, the same system that Google Chrome uses. Ah. The problem is that Opera's VPN doesn't have the same third-party audits and reviews you see with actual VPN providers, so we can't tell you if you can trust it. But we know of one thing you can trust, pCloud. pCloud has proven its trust with a public hackathon, making it the most secure cloud storage provider that you can buy. And better yet, you can get a whopping 80% off using our link in the description. Back to the video. You let us know in the comments. Do you play any browser-based games that would make Opera GX worth it? Until then, let's take a look at our next browser, Safari. If you use Apple devices like the Mac, iPhone, iPad, and iRobot, well, maybe not the last one. Still, Safari is the browser built for you. Literally, it's built for your favorite iDevices. So it's fast on those devices. But if you're not an iUser, skip this part of the video because Safari isn't even available on Windows or Android. If you're still with me, Safari is great because it's a delightful blend of simplicity and useful features. This includes a password manager, integrations with Apple Pay, and easy syncing between all of your Apple devices. It's also recently adopted some app access from the Chrome Web Store after the release of Big Sur in 2020. So you can ask your favorite Chrome app developer to remake their extension on Safari, or use Xcode to move the extensions yourself. The second option requires a bit of technical skill, and even then it might not work. But let's be honest here. Safari is the Stockholm Syndrome of browsers, meaning you should only use it if you are exclusive to Apple. 
So what about Android fanboys? What can we say about Chrome? Chrome is the world's most popular browser for a reason. It's convenient. As the mainstream choice, it offers excellent features for its users. Chrome makes it easy to sync your data between multiple Google accounts. You can also have multiple accounts on a single computer, which is helpful if you're sharing computers with multiple household members. The Chrome Web Store is the largest web store when compared to its competitors, Safari and Firefox. However, this helpful feature isn't exclusive to Chrome, as you can use it across Chromium browsers like Opera and a few other browsers you'll learn about shortly. That means if you get your favorite pop-up blocker, I'm having fun! Speaking of stopping unwanted things, you can feasibly make Chrome more secure using extensions, but it is inconvenient. And you might not trust all the extensions on the Chrome Web Store. For example, in March 2023, a fake chat GPT Chrome extension was hijacking Facebook accounts for malicious advertising. So knowing that Google is completely customizable, why isn't it number one? Well, it's mainly because of the ethical problems presented by Alphabet, Google's parent company. Google will collect your data and sell it to the highest bidder through its popular AdSense platform. This brings us to another Chromium browser, Vivaldi. If you looked at Opera GX and thought, that's great, but what about security? Enter Vivaldi, a browser based on Opera with built-in tracking protection and ad blocking. This means you won't need to hunt for extensions like you would with Chrome. The extra tracking and ad blocking features make web pages load faster. So on some pages, Vivaldi is faster than Opera. Vivaldi syncs data with accounts that ask far fewer details than Google Chrome. This means you can sync between different browsers without providing your name, address, or firstborn child. The drawback of this approach is that you can't sync your extensions, so you'll need to download them with each new Vivaldi install. And like Opera, you can download extensions from the Chrome Web Store. Now, if you think Vivaldi is the most secure browser, I've got news for you. Tor, hands down, is the number one browser for security. It relies on the Tor Onion Network, which is a series of network nodes. These nodes are volunteer computers who can't track where the data comes from, what it is, or where it's going. Originally, it was developed by the US Navy to protect the identity of intelligence agents. When the technology made its way to the public, it was used to protect more legally questionable enterprises. To learn more about Tor, check out our video on the dark web. Tor security allows anonymous browsing, blocking all potential security risks. This includes blocking JavaScript elements, which will absolutely break 90% of the websites you regularly visit. Using Tor for your regular browsing is sort of like driving a tank to get your groceries. It's unpleasant, unnecessary, and might draw unwanted attention. For those wanting to stick with a more enjoyable ride, there's Firefox. Firefox is the number one browser for security. If you actually want to use the websites you visit, like Vivaldi, it comes with out-of-the-box protections that include tracking protection, forced HTTPS so you can stay secure on unsecure sites, fingerprinting protection so sites can't track the type of device you use, and phishing protection so your computer avoids suspicious sites. Firefox is an open source browser, mostly built by volunteers, meaning it doesn't answer to any profit-centric corporate entities who want to sell your data. Firefox's unique offer is Firefox Relay, which lets you set up temporary burner emails. That way, you can avoid giving out your actual email, avoiding when some of those annoying spam emails pop up in your inbox. Unlike most browsers, Firefox doesn't use Chromium, meaning it doesn't support Google. This means you can't access the Chrome Web Store, but Firefox has a robust web store of its own. However, the lack of Chromium elements means Firefox is slower than other browsers. In addition, Firefox holds a whopping 3% of users, while Chrome owns 65%. This means less public support, especially from smaller entities. And while not as bad as Tor, some of those advanced security features break websites. Now, before we get to the best browser, let's make an honorable mention. Edge. 
Edge is the browser that begs you not to switch to Chrome. However, even if you use it, it switched to Chromium in 2018, recognizing the superior alternative to its own. Disaster. But the impressiveness of Edge doesn't come from its browser. It comes from its search engine, Bing AI. This is one of the few ways that Bing offers a better search alternative to Google, who is still catching up with Bard. But still, Microsoft will steal all of your information and sell it to the highest bidder. Therefore, consider our best pick for the best overall web browser. When you consider factors related to speed, security, and features, Brave wins all three. This is because it relies on the super fast Chromium system. It has many of the same out of the box security features as Firefox, and it can use the Chrome Web Store. Brave is actually a product of former Firefox employees, those experienced with building a secure browser. Because of this, many people ask which is more secure, Brave or Firefox? If you have some thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What we can say without a doubt, Brave is better than Firefox in syncing browser data. You can sync data anonymously between multiple browsers without needing to make an account. While it requires a bit of work with QR codes, it's not too difficult. But it sacrifices some of the convenience of Chrome. Brave is also one of the few browsers where you can earn money while using it. By replacing the standard ad networks with their built-in ad networks, you can earn Brave's cryptocurrency, BAT. Of course, this means that you'll have to deal with Brave's pop-ups. having fun! <laughs> or you could just not subscribe to Brave's crypto earning thing. It might save you from annoyance. Like Firefox and Opera, Brave has its own VPN. But like these other VPNs, there are no third party audits or reviews. However, a VPN won't protect you from harmful files. Instead, leave that up to your antivirus and cloud backup systems. And if you want the most secure cloud backup system, we recommend pCloud, which you can get up to 80% off in our video description. So Brave is arguably more secure than Firefox and much faster, making it the best browser of this year. Of course, you might prefer the niche experience of Opera GX, the unique mix that comes with Vivaldi, or you have no other choice option that comes with Safari. Whatever you choose, there are no wrong answers, except Internet Explorer. Subscribe to our channel if you want more tech reviews. For a different browser comparison, you can also check out our video comparing Google and DuckDuckGo. Give the video a like, and hopefully with our advice, you'll no longer have to deal with trackers and pop-ups. Oh, there's one now.